Hello, my fire signs. This is going to be your singles reading for September. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards my fire signs. We're going to start with Aries. Okay. For this, so this will be for all single Aries. All right. Let's see what's coming towards you. We're going to start out and get two romantic messages. See what your love life is going to be like. What is going on with my single Aries in September? What can they what can they expect to come in? Okay. We have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so it's about opening up, right? Then we have playfulness. This, this will come out every single <laughs> To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's about opening yourself up to love, okay? Knowing that it's safe. Whoever you're going to meet and come across, they're not going to try to hurt you again if you've been hurt before. And it's about getting into that, you know, youthful spirit of fun, right? Just having, enjoying yourself, not taking things too seriously, right? Let's get some messages. Ace of Wands reversed, okay? Three of Pentacles reversed. Four of Swords reversed. Yeah, so, all right. Um, here's what I'm getting. In the past, there could have been this energy where, um, you know, you were hesitant to start something, okay? You may still be hesitant to start something because it's almost like something didn't work out in the past, all right? Maybe you weren't able to come together with somebody. Maybe something happened. But you have, it's telling you that it's okay to love, right? You're, it's okay. Maybe you've gone within, gotten some clarity, kind of taken a rest from dating for some of you, okay? It's okay. You can now come back around, right? Um, it's okay, but we have to be, you know, taking things more lightheartedly, right? Not taking things too seriously. Just enjoying yourself. This has, I can't, I don't understand. This is coming out in every single reading. We have well, resources, creativity, healing, and wishes can be realized with dedication. Healing, okay? This, I'm getting healing, okay? There's a lot of healing that you may feel like you've done, okay? I think you're getting into that energy where you're ready to um, open yourself up to someone new. Then we have letter, thoughtful, passionate, loving communication. So whoever's coming in, you know, they may really want to communicate with you. And it's safe to do so. It's safe to communicate. It's safe, right? Um, then we have being open and intimate, revealing secrets. Yeah. It's about opening yourself up and being, you know, available. Okay. Then we have, let's see, let's get a theme here. What's a theme for this potential connection in September? We have conclusion. It's about closing the door to feeling, you know, like we can't manifest something, okay? It's ending one chapter and starting a new chapter, being open, right? It's safe. This new chapter is knowing that it's safe, okay, and opening your heart to receive, okay? Let's get a quick advice card. Some people really do love you and have your best interest in mind. These are the angels that will help you through the darkness. So if you felt, and this is, look, this for me is a, a religious card, praying to the angels, right? I think there's angels. Are there angels in this card? Well, whatever, okay? doesn't matter. They're in a church. They're praying to the angels to help guide them through the darkness. So if you felt like there's a darkness around you and, like, you know, you were kind of shut off to love, Right? We're very reluctant to accept it. This is a healing energy. They're going to help you heal from that. And let you. they want you to know it's safe for you to open yourself up to love. Okay? It is safe. Try to get into that playful spirit. And, you know, somebody is going to want to communicate with you. All right? Time to let the past go. So, let's get some updates for my single Leos now. single Leos. Let's see what's going on. Let's start out with two advice or two relationship cards. What's coming in for all my single Leos in the month of September? Let's 
Sorry, it's so dark in here. It's overcast. Every time it's overcast here, it's just like so dark. <laughs> no matter how many lights on I have. You have getting to know each other. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you, your bond deepens. So you may meet someone new that you are getting to know, right? Um, and this period is going to be, you know, this, um, you know, this getting to know each other period. I think this is someone that you're going to meet, right? We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. This could be soulmate energy coming in, past life relationship, okay? Somebody who you feel very drawn to, very connected to, and you're going to be getting to know them in the month of September. Okay. Let's get some additional messages here. Page of Swords reverse, okay? Um, someone may be a little hesitant to jump in, right? Again, this is sl moving in slow, okay? But you could be keeping tabs on each other, trying to get to know each other, figure out what they're all about, right? Um, doing some research on them and them on you. Because again, this is about getting to know each other. Wheel of Fortune. So this, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, okay? This is the Wheel of Fortune bringing you this opportunity for this past life relationship to come in, okay? This past... So, you know, this deep soul bond that you're going to have with somebody. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Scorpio, um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius energy in the wheel. <clears throat> and the Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have Justice. This is Libra. This could be about legal stuff. This could, but this is going to be balanced, right? For me, this is a balanced relationship coming in. I think some of you may be dealing with, you may be meeting a Libra. Okay. <clears throat> um, definitely could be meeting a Libra, but this is about balance, right? Um, definitely having an equal relationship here. Let's get some love messages. We have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So, you know, you may think that this person, you know, you're just getting to know them, but they they have pretty deep feelings for you, okay? They may develop them very quickly, especially if this past life relationship has this draw, this, you know, magnetizing effect, right? Then we have surrender. At times we must surrender to the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So, you know, sometimes we have to let go of the past. A lot of people, are, a lot of the signs are getting this energy where we have to kind of fully release the past before we can open ourselves up to something new. Um, so if you haven't let go of the past of a past energy or situation, it's time to let it go so we can be open to this new energy coming in, right? So let's get some romantic cards. We have compass, guidance, goals, and direction. So it's about moving in the right direction, right? Um, how do we go about doing this, right? So I think that you may be looking for guidance here wondering especially like checking up on this person maybe or just doing some research about them like can i trust them then we have book oh being open and intimate and revealing secrets the same cards are literally coming out for every sign lately um but yeah it's going to be someone who is very open to you and you're going to wonder if you can be open to them right this one to fall out we have love language okay social media texts and calls so they're going to be hitting you up, okay? Then we have dog, best friend, loyal, loving, and devoted. So this person is going to be very loyal and devoted to you. But I think you're going to wonder, like, can I trust this, okay? <clears throat> I think all the signs are like, can I trust new love? <laughs> right? I think we've all been burned before. So what's a theme that we need to know about here? But it's saying that this will be a balanced relationship, right? Then we have strength. Finding the strength, really, to see if you know, we can continue forward with something that we're just not sure about, right? Opening yourself up to the unknown. Let's get an advice card. Self-reliance. Everyone's viewpoint is based on the lens through which they view themselves and the world. You don't always need to seek advice. Seek within. Yep, going within to seek guidance here. Okay, that's really going to be a theme here for you. Just trying to get answers about this. And But again, you're going to, I think you are going to meet someone. Um, they may have been admiring you for a little bit of time and you may not know about it. Okay, but you do have a past life relationship coming in, Leo. 
All right, so let's move on to Sagittarius. What is going on for my Sagittarians? Single Sagittarians. All right, what's going on for all my single Sagittarians in September? We have you deserve love you are lovable okay so if you've been thinking like you know maybe I'm just this isn't the right time or I, no one's gonna love me you know this is about really getting into that energy where you know you're putting yourself on a pedestal right you deserve love you have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so whoever's coming in they're gonna stir some romantic feelings for you okay and these are these feelings are real they're valid okay So, let's get some clarity on the situation. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay. Then we have the King of Cups reversed. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so here's what I'm getting. In the past, you've had a Knight of Wands type of energy come in and out of your life, okay? Player type energy that wasn't emotionally available. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could have been one of those signs that you've dealt with before, okay? So I think that you may have been kind of disenchanted, disenchanted, disenfranchised, right? <laughs> when it comes to love. They may have made you feel like you didn't deserve it or something, right? But... You know, this person who's going to come in, okay, they're going to stir your romantic feelings. Do you work on this? Do you focus on this? This is going to be a theme for you. Can you trust it? You have to get into that energy where you know that you deserve the best, okay? You want someone who's going to put in the work and focus on you, right? So let's get an idea of some romantic themes coming in. So it's going to be coming down to you to really evaluate this person and see if they treat you the right the way you want to be treated, okay? What you deserve. You don't want a King of Cups reverse who's emotionally unavailable. You don't want a Knight of Wands who's like that player energy who blows hot and cold with the wind, right? And we have Snake, okay? Snake, charming, cunning, and dangerous, <laughs> okay? So whoever's coming in, you need to be very mindful, okay? You may have a snake in your midst. Or you may think they're a snake based on how you've been treated in the past. This is really about you standing up for what you want, okay? Setting boundaries. You want someone, again, who's going to be focused on the one pentacle on you. Not one in a long line of rotating pentacles like the Knight of Wands always does. You don't want to be in someone's rotation. Then we have cross. Heavy burden surrendering to the divine and redemption. This has been a burden for you. Okay, this has been a burden. And I think the situation may make you feel some type of way because you're going to have romantic feelings for this person. But you may be wondering, is this person a snake? Will they give me the love I deserve? Right? And we have bridges, divine connections, and shortening the physical distance to bring you together. You may meet them, um, you know, when you're traveling or something like that. They may live at a distance from you, which long distance kind of things they can trigger this fear that knight of wands reverse fear like oh they're in and out i don't know what they're doing we live apart you know what i mean that kind of energy are they emotionally available whatever the situation is if this person lives at a distance from you they may trigger that fear in you from the past okay so just be mindful you're going to wonder if this person is a snake but they are going to have some you're going to have romantic feelings for them and that's why it's going to be a trigger i think so let's get some romantic cards we have twin flames your passionate knights so <laughs> uh you know those relationships can be difficult they can be very push and pull twin flames you know what i'm getting more for this situation is that this person's going to trigger this fear in you twin flames are meant to trigger each other more than anyone else is ever going to trigger you so you may feel triggered by the past okay it could bring up some fears from the past 
I mean, it's important to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So even though you have romantic feelings, this is about getting out of that energy feeling like you need something from this person, especially if you're questioning their integrity or you're questioning their motives, right? So I'm going to get a theme for this connection coming in. What's the theme for this connection? I'm going to shuffle these because the <laughs> same cards just keep coming up. Like, am I not shuffling? What's going on here? All right. We do have strength. This came up in the last, so it's not me. Okay. You saw me shuffle. So we're going to have strength come up. Leo energy. Um, you know, again, that is about having the strength to make the choices that you need to make. Okay. Can you trust this person coming in? They may be a little cunning and a little deceitful. Uh, it's going to be up to you to find out. Everything in your world is an outward expression of yourself mirroring back to you parts of you. So if you don't think that you deserve love, you will bring in people that don't give it to you. Because we are everything that we believe about ourselves, we create and it manifests in our outward experience, right? So if you think that you keep getting snakes, unemo emotionally unavailable people, and that's all that you'll ever attract, that's exactly what's going to come in. So again, we have to change our beliefs, reframe the beliefs. You do deserve love. You are lovable, right? You do deserve the best. So, you know, it's really about honoring yourself, honoring your boundaries. Whoever this is, you know, just be mindful, okay? So that is going to be your messages for my fire signs. Um, if this resonates, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.